In today's video, you'll see me do a twist out and also see how I maintain my twist out throughout the week. The products that I use in my hair are listed in the description box. next morning and I am ready to take down my twist. So let's get right to it, shall we? I slept with a scarf on my head. So look at that, y'all. Let me come up closer so you can see. Look at that. That's pretty. Deep waves. Y'all see that? This is gonna be a really good twist out. So far, my hair feels pretty good. I am going to share with you guys how I maintain the twist out because one of you asked me if I would make a video sharing how I take care of my twist out, maintaining it. It's just about the same as a wash and go, but I do it a little bit differently. I'll come back tonight and show you what I do, and then I'll come back the next morning and show you what I do. And look at somebody just walking all in my <laughs> path, y'all. Walking all in my little she had to go all the way around the world and to come in my video but yeah i'm going to uh, come back and show you what i do at nighttime. i'm also going to come back the next day so today is mm, today is february 1st i'm taking down my twist i actually did my twist on january 31st which was sunday so i think i have them all down and i think they look pretty good so now what i'm going to do so that i can get a fuller twist out i'm going to separate some of the twists so that it could be fuller. Cause I don't want to just walk around like this. I want it to have a little bit more fullness and a little bit more volume. So I'm gonna take some down by separating. You see that? I'm just gonna come through and gently break them apart. Be very careful when you do this because you can create frizz. And we are not trying to create frizz at all. That is what gives you the volume so that you can fill in those spaces. You see the difference in this side and this side? So I'm gonna do this all over my head. Look at that gray right there. All the way, yes. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, the joys of getting older. Check out my curls, y'all. Check that out. I have shine, definition. It's feeling good, moisturized exactly how I love it. That's right. I'll be back tonight to share with you how I maintain my twist out. And I also share with you some things that I do and some things that I don't do. I'll see you later. It is nighttime and I'm getting ready to go to bed. Here is my hair. Okay, so this is what I do. I will take some hair, being careful not to disturb the curl pattern. And I will also take two sections of the hair as you can see and i will just lightly twist the hair being careful not to disturb the curl pattern this is what i do i didn't really twist too much at the root there but i do have this little twist here so i'm going to do that everywhere i'm going to grab some hair over here okay when i grab the hair i have my twist and i'm not trying to stretch them or anything i'm just gently twisting mainly from the mid shaft to the ends and that's it and i'm not disturbing my curl pattern at all so you want to be gentle when you do this so I have my two peepee long stocking little twists and I'm gonna do it for the back. So I'm just grabbing the hair that's already twist out like here, if you feel me. So look, this is it here and I'm not disturbing it. I'm twisting very lightly. I have to put a little bit of tension on it so that this doesn't come down. But you can see, get this out of the way. You can see my little curls. It's a collection of all the twist out hair. <laughs> that has been untwisted, so to speak. I'm gonna feel where I can grab here without messing up or disturbing the pattern. And I feel it. So I have my two little pieces here and I'm gonna twist. I'm not really going in at the root to twist. And there's a reason for that. You can see I have some sticking out here. I'm just gonna put that in with the other. It's done. I have my scarf here and I'm going to tie my hair down with it. I'm going under my 
the twist as you can see it's sticking out there and it's one sticking out there and i'm just going to tie it in a knot okay that's it it is the next day and i am back to take down my hair i have already taken off the scarf but here is how it's looking and i'm going to go ahead and take it down so let's see what i'm working with on day two of the twist out okay you see i just took that loose i'm just going to fan it out like that and voila, my twist out is still looking good. And the curl pattern is still like it was before I twisted it up. Just be careful, fanning it out, making sure not to disturb the curl pattern. Get the back here, just kind of shaking it. It still looks fresh, <laughs> like I just did it. Just shaking it so that I don't disturb curl pattern. Now I'm fluffing it. Gently fluffing it. Very careful not to create any frizz. Let's see how the back looks. Throw on a little lipstick and straighten my little eyebrows out and I'm good to go to start my day. It's Thursday and I'm here to take down my hair. Thursday, a.m. I have not put any product in my hair. No moisturizer, no spritzing, no anything. The only thing I've done is apply a little bit of virgin hair fertilizer to my hairline area, this spot treat. That's all I've done and I have massaged my scalp with this. So here we go. I'm gonna show you what I have, what I'm working with. Twist, twist. I'm going to gently take them down. But you notice that I did not twist all the way at the root. I grabbed here and I was very gentle to not disturb the curl pattern again. <laughs> and it still feels really good. And I ain't lying about that because normally whenever I use a product and I have some issues going on, my hair don't feel right, I will redo it in a minute. But this has been doing pretty good and holding up pretty well. So here we go with this twist, just gently. Take it down, fan it out, because that curl pattern is still in there. I didn't disturb it. Had I gone to bed on loose hair, my hair would be flat and stuck to my head. That's this side here. You see, I twisted starting really right here, mid shaft to the ends. I didn't disturb anything at the root. But this is how it's turned out. I'm gonna come a little closer so you guys can see that I still have definition. I have uh, some frizz going on, but it's not crazy frizz. It's not that type of frizz where you're like, ooh, my hair is drying out because it's frizzy. No, it's not that for me. Good frizz going on, but it's okay. It's all good. Y'all can tell I just woke up. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. <laughs> I haven't been up too long. This is it. All right, until next time. I see you the next day. Today is Friday and I am back to take down this hair. Let's get into it. Let me come a little closer so you can see what I have going on. And so I can see too. So there it is. Gently take down the little hair that was twisted, being careful to not disturb the curl pattern. Okay. Alrighty. That's the first section. I'm over here to this side, carefully untwisted, turning it in the opposite direction. And here we go. Okay. You see how that just kind of drops apart? Let's do it in the back. Oops, I'm going the other way. <laughs> Whoops, it's already taken down. A little bit of frizz, but not a whole lot to say, ooh. It's about to turn into a fro. It's still looking good. Let me do the last, the, the other side here. I can't even feel which way to go, y'all. Okay, so I'm just going to fan that out. Kind of fluff it back here to get it to fall. And that's the way we do it. All right, so y'all see my hair, it still has movement. It feels soft, it's not dried out. It is developing a little bit of frizz. And I'm okay with frizz as long as my hair is not dry and brittle. Okay, 
because I can have an afro, and if my afro is dry and brittle, then we can't. I can't rock that afro. My afro has to be moisturized and soft. Before I go, let me give you a tip. Well, a few tips to keep your hair moisturized. You have to lay the foundation to get moisturized hair. And what does that look like? It looks like having a shampoo that is really good for your hair, that is moisturizing, that's not going to leave you dried out, tangled up, mangled, or whatever. The shampoo has to lay that foundation. Then you follow with a conditioner that's going to help you keep the moisture. Okay, put that moisture back in there. And as you go through your steps of shampooing, conditioning, deep conditioning, if you do that, and applying your leave-in product and styler, you're building up on moisture as you go in each step. And that will help you maintain your hairstyle your hair will be moisturized, your hair will be conditioned, it will feel good, it won't frizz out, and it won't be all dry and feeling like a Brillo pad, but you have to lay that foundation at the beginning when you first cleanse the hair. That's what you have to do, and you have to keep delivering that moisture to your hair every step. That's all I have, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I debated on putting this at the end of the video or just to have a separate video, and I decided to just include this in the video. So you can actually see this is Evelyn's hair from Sunday when I did my hair up until the next week going into the next weekend. If I want to redo my hair Saturday or Sunday, I will. You know, it just depends on how I feel, what's going on, and how my hair feels. But I don't necessarily have to do that because my hair is feeling good. The key to knowing your hair is to feel it. Get to know what it needs. If it's dry, give it a drink. Meaning, I'm not talking about piling some product on your hair. I'm talking about wetting that hair and getting some moisture in there by giving it a good conditioning. And use good products that work on your hair. And it doesn't matter if they're expensive or inexpensive, but they have to work for your hair. I've gotten rid of a lot of products because they did not work on my hair and I wanted to keep them, I wanted to make them work, but every time I would use the product, my hair is all dry and brittle. I can't get down with that. I can't go anywhere with that, right? So get rid of what doesn't work for you and start using what does work for you and stick with that. You will see your hair blossom. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to the subscriber who requested this video. I appreciate it. If you have any more questions about maintaining the twist out or anything that has to do with keeping moisture in your hair, put your questions below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. If you want to see more videos, be sure to click the videos on the end screen and I'll see you in the next video.